If you're a teacher and you're looking for ideas about how to use Canva, I'm gonna show you three great ideas. Very recently, I was invited to a course. I was stunned at how good Canva is. And in this talk, I'm gonna concentrate on the free tool. So I'm gonna show you just three ideas that you can use with the free tool. And they are around collaboration and making interesting handouts. And you'll see just how useful Canva is. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you wanna try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. Okay, I'm gonna start with something really simple. I do promise you that in this video, there are gonna be some big surprises for anyone working in education, things that I just didn't realize you can do. But I'm gonna start with something simple. I'm gonna click over here and click on create a design. And we're actually using the free tool for this, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I can either write it or I can actually see it there. I'm gonna click on infographic. Now that's gonna bring us into a tool where we could start to create our own infographic uh, from scratch but actually i'm not going to do that i'm going to click here and i'm going to search for future tenses in english okay so i'm looking for some kind of handout on future ten tenses in english now not all of them will be available if you've got the free tool but if you roll over for example that one's pro but that one isn't pro and that one isn't pro so let's just click on one just to get a bit of an idea i'm going to click on it and you've got this obviously infographic that you could now print out and give to your students we can always look at it a little bit closer by just coming in and checking if we're happy with the explanations okay okay and I can always come in and edit that. But if I was happy with that and I just wanted to hand that out to my students, I've now got loads of ways that I could work with it. I could obviously print it, but I might just want to share it. If I click on the share button, let me just take you through some of the options. So the most obvious thing is that you might want to download it and you can click here and then you could choose the type in fact, if you click here, you've got a number of types and then obviously click on the download button and that will go into your downloads. Another option, if we just come back in the share, is simply to present. OK, so in other words, you're actually going to present it. So you could click on this button here if you were going to use it in class, for example. Just click on the present button and you're now in present mode and you could project that on the screen. So that would be another way of sharing this content. There is a third way that's interesting. You could give the students a shareable link so they can click on the link and access it. And let me just show you that as well. So coming back to this screen, click on share again. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, the one we want actually is here, but we've got only you can access. I'm just going to click on that and change that to anyone with the link. But anyone with the link, now this is really interesting and we'll be looking at this a bit further. You could actually even allow your students to edit the infographic, but that probably isn't a good idea with this particular one. But what you would be able to do is to say, well, anyone can view. Now you would copy that link and then share it with the students. And obviously they will be able to click on the link and then access the presentation. Now, remember that you can get students to edit. And I'm going to show you in a minute a couple of situations where that could be a really interesting option. Whenever you want to get back to the home page, just click up here and then click on the Canva icon that brings you back. I want to show you something else now that a lot of teachers don't know about. And I want to show you again in the free tool how this could be very interesting. It's about getting your students to collaborate together. And there is something that in, in a way is very similar to uh, Google Jamboard, which is, has now been um, d deleted from the Google suite. But if you click on whiteboards, now what we're going to do for this is going to click on just a simple whiteboard that we're going to create ourselves. So create a blank one and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to be able to get my students to collaborate with me. Now I'm going to write a little title at the top. So I'm going to click on text and I'm just going to add a title here at the top and it's going to be, I'm just going to put a little title in here with some instructions or just let's put a basic title in. We're going to say, how do we reduce 
pollution. Okay, so this is the discussion topic. I could put in some instructions underneath, but what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to add some spaces where students can come on, click on the space and collaborate and write their answers. So what I'm going to do now is come down to elements and in elements, I'm going to choose a sticky note and I'm going to drag that sticky note onto the screen and notice it says add text. Now I'm not going to add any text, but I'm going to actually draw, add, drag some more on. Now there's a little trick that you can do because you can obviously drag another one on, but sometimes it's very difficult to align them. Notice that if you right click, in fact, if you click, I think it's, let me just click outside. I think it's, if I click here, actually, what you've got something that's really in interesting, it's called quick flow. Now I've got it on at the moment. I'm going to disable it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on. What does quick flow allow me to do? It allows me very quickly to copy exactly the same box in exactly the same position. So I can say, add me another one here. And then I could say, right, I want another one down. And I can, I can do this, I'll add another one down, and I'll have another one down. Now, that means that students can come on and write their name. So maybe Tom comes on, writes his name, and then Tom would write his ideas here. And let's say Maria would come on, and she would add her ideas here. If you've got a group of students and you already know their names, you could even write their names in. This is a great way to get your students to collaborate together. Now, how are you going to get them to collaborate? Remember, I'm showing you here the free tool. So let's go over again to our share button. And remember, we need to change this. You can only access, no, we want everyone with the link to access. And this time, we don't only want them to be able to view, but we actually want them to edit. Now this means if I copy this link, and I've done that, remember I'm using the free tool. If I was to log in now using that link as a student, I would actually be able to collaborate on this and even more interestingly, I wouldn't need to have an account. So this can be a really powerful way of kind of getting your students to collaborate together. So let me quickly show you that in action. So I've logged in on another browser and I'm going to paste in this link that I've got. And you'll see now that I can actually come in to that document. I'm just going to close this down. I don't need to have an account. OK, so I've come in here. You can see this little image of me at the top. So this is me on a completely different account. And I'm going to say that my name, say, for example, let's say Mike. And Mike could come here and Mike could write his comments here. And then someone else with the link could come on and they would write their uh, comments here. And so this can be a great way. Remember, you could already pre-write the students' names if you knew the group of students. And that would work very well if you've only got a small group of students. This can be a great way of getting students to collaborate. And incredibly, I'm doing that as a free tool. So if I come back now as Russell, as the teacher, I can now see that Mike has made a contribution and I'm gonna show you something else that you can do. Once you're happy with the contributions and you don't want students to contribute anymore, just click on share and just change that to can only view. And that would mean now that students will still be able to access the document with the link that you shared with them, but they wouldn't be able to contribute. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you've seen and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to help language teachers and language students make better use of technology in their teaching and in their learning. There's loads of content to access on the opening page, but also we've got this menu system here, including a couple of drop down menus with some of the really popular sections with the AI technologies that are obviously very popular at the moment. If you want to keep up with the latest videos and the latest free webinars that we organize, then sign up to the newsletter. We've got about 12,000 subscribers now. And also part of that newsletter is that you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the most popular YouTube videos I've already made, showing you key technologies that we can use in language teaching and language learning. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, the best thing is to join me on Patreon. It's just $6 a month, and for that, you get three extra videos every month, uh, often dealing with things that I don't cover on YouTube. There are no adverts, of course, and you get that monthly training where we meet online and look in detail at a particular technology. Just click on the button here, and you can find out more about the Patreon site. Now we're focusing on the free tool today. I'm gonna to show you one final idea. Again, this is a collaborative idea. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on docs. 
And when I click on Docs, I'm going to click here on Start Writing. And we're now in a doc. And what I'm going to do here is just write some quick instructions at the top. So my instructions are, write, share five things you did this weekend, write full sentences. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add now a table where the students can write their answers. Now where do you add a table? Well it's very easy, just click on this plus button and you can actually just come down here and tables available. And I'm going to choose, let's say I'm, I need about that many, about I've got seven students. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to write the students to put their name here and then to put their five things you did this weekend okay so it's a great brainstorming idea and what I normally do when I do these types of activities I'm just going to move that over there is I actually write in an example so I'm going to write my name here and then I'm just going to quickly write five things now obviously I could make this look a lot better one of the lovely things about um, working with uh, when you work with canvas that you can really very quickly augment the quality of your handout and make it look a lot more interesting for example i could just come over to elements here and then i might say write the word in actions and just see if i can kind of portray the idea of people doing actions or doing things i've got some pictures here well let's try the let's put the work in the word in weekend okay i'm just trying to show you that you could always make the um handout look a lot more interesting so for example if I scroll, scroll through here I can see that some of these are free for example this one here is I could drag that onto the screen and just put that on there and that adds a little bit of an element to it I could always also share this uh, or select this and make it a little bit smaller okay so I've got my handout now now how are my students going to access this well it's exactly the same as the last activity you're going to click on share Remember to click here, which is what all people always forget. Click on anyone with the link can edit. Remember to set it to edit and then copy. Now there's one problem with these activities and that is that students could come in and change what you've written. So that's something you'll have to be aware of. You can't kind of, you know, I can't block now Russell and say, well, that can't be edited, unfortunately. So you do need to work with students that you can trust that will come in and add in their name here and then write in their 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 answers here but as a way of getting people to collaborate to collaborate together and to brainstorm more ideas i think this is a really really nice idea okay really hope you like that video and as i said if you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos remember if you want to sign up to the newsletter there is the 14 part free mini course there's no tricks i highlight some of the best free technologies on the internet for delivering language teaching and language learning and of course you can also join me on patreon if you want live sessions with me if you want to meet me online and actually have direct training with me then the best thing to do is to join me on patreon and if you click on this video here you can get all of the information and finally if you want to contact me scroll down you can contact me on the website if you want me to do some training with your organization run a workshop run a conference or even if you want me to help you to build content for your online course which is something i've done a lot of work on or maybe it's because you want to build up a youtube channel or you just want one-on-one -on -one training in using a technology like camtasia i am actually a recommended camtasia trainer and i do a lot of work in camtasia then you can contact me by just clicking on here and send me an email and i'll get back to you i'm going to leave now some more content on the screen some more videos that you might find interesting and thank you very much